Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service, Mark Glowinski via GAR, Lackawanna College, West Virginia, the Seattle Seahawks, now a member of the Indianapolis Colts the last several years. Came back, gave back, spoke to the Wilkesburg area Wolfpack with head coach Ciro Sinti and then coach Tony Khalifi back at GAR and made an impact with the Wolfpack today. Mark Lewinsky, you know, he was uh, formerly first picked by the uh, Seahawks, and then now he's a member of the Colts, the Indianapolis Colts. He's a GAR graduate. Uh, he has a great story. I love to hear. I know Coach will talk more about his story, but you know, he's willing and he wanted to dedicate some time to you young guys. They're all coming together. A great guy. Please give us your undivided attention to this young man. Coach, please, do you want to go into some more? I'll just. I was fortunate enough to coach Mark when uh, he was at GAR. I was the head coach, and uh, he graduated in 2010, which was my last season as head coach. And uh, Mark went on, uh, and this is for you guys, for all of you, but he was a Voltec student. Okay, and back in, back when he was in Voltec, you weren't able to take all the core classes and get to college right off the bat. Pretty much like now you can. So he had to take the hard road, and he did it. He went to Lackawanna Junior College after GAR. Uh, under Mark Duda, who was a great player himself in the NFL, Mark flourished uh, on the offensive line, got a scholarship to West Virginia, where he was outstanding for three years, was a fourth round pick for uh, Seattle in uh, 2015, and then I think he, in 17 or 18 he went off to the Colt, Colts, where he's a starting right guard right now, on what is considered one of the top, if not the top offensive lines in the NFL. Worked hard, was in the weight room constantly, uh, we, I remember just uh, typically I coached him in track. I was fortunate to have him as a thrower as well. We'd go throw for an hour and a half. After practice, we'd go lift for an hour and a half, right? Yeah. And uh, my wife would be saying, what are you doing? Dinner's ready. I said, Mark, Mark and a couple other guys, they're going to lift. You know, they throw, but then they go lift. We don't miss workouts. And uh, that's, that's commitment. You know, that's, that's when you become what you want to be, by being committed, not just hurrying up and getting out of here doing the workouts the way they're meant to be done, and going from there. But I, I don't want to talk much more about him. He's, he's a, a great kid, a great player uh, uh, in, in, in the sport of football, but even he's an even better person, and that's why he's here today. So, talk with Mark Lewinsky, uh, Indianapolis Colts via GAR uh, here at Wilkes-Barre Area, Wolfpack. We're going to talk with the guys today. Uh, always get a little bit grounded when you come back home, uh, talk about the a warm feeling when you are back home and everybody wants to see you get a little PC. It's hard to spread yourself yeah. around, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's different being in a different, you know, area where maybe it was considered Coughlin area. Now it's, you know, just going to be a Wilkes-Barre area for the time being. And, uh, you know, I remember playing games right down on in the Solomon uh, fields right here. So I just remember when I was looking right down the field, I can see me in different parts of the field, different plays that were happening in the previous years. Most of them, you know, being in eighth, ninth grade, um, you know, just looking back, you, you see those flashes before your eyes of, of good things, even bad things that may happen on the field. Um, and just driving by parts of town that I haven't been in a while, especially, you know, me being just in, from the Heights area to come to different parts of the town. It's cool. I think everybody who, you know, has that dream, hey, I want to be in the NFL, mm -hmm. the NBA is, there's something you remember, you know, in junior high, thinking somebody making a comment, you got potential. You know, I always remember Coach Duda telling me, man, lewinsky has got great feet. <laughs> so years later, you know, that came out. But whether it was a junior high coach or a high school coach, you know, because you kind of flew under the radar a little bit. There's some other yeah. guys on your team that were pretty good. But, you know, when it came down to it, you know, you, you're still shining and you're in the NFL, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm saying I definitely had to take the long road, just like we're saying. I had to, you know, either choose between going to junior college or going to a prep school of some sort, and uh, you know, just being in the right place at the right time, having the opportunity to go to, uh, you know, Lackawanna. But um, you know, it's 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 unbelievable to think that just being a part of, you know, a small elite group, uh, just having the opportunity to do it. But even if I were to tell these guys, you know, just working as hard as you can. I, you know, I went to Bow Tech school and that was kind of what kind of slowed me down a little bit was maybe not having the, the start to go right to a, a division one school with the opportunity of just my given talents and height and, you know, all the stuff that you need, strength and everything. Um, but it just, 
I just took the long road, whatever I had to do to get there, trust everybody that was around me. I see all the same coaches that I see that helped me get to the place that I'm at, where I've competed against the coaches or, you know, different family members that I've seen. Like, you know, I just walked and seen, you know, loot and, you know, I've known definitely a lot of other, you know, family members or went to school with them, different people. Um, you know, everybody's helped in some way, shape or form. You, you talk about, you know, believing in yourself between your ears part of just trying to, to stay with it. You feel like that's a strength in your, kind of like a, a steady and just a quiet confidence about you and, and just kind of stay with it and believe in yourself? Yeah, you definitely have to do that and also trust the things that people tell you. You know, they're telling you things for a reason and, you know, they want to put you in the right place. To, to succeed, even if it's just for you, or maybe it'll help the team, or maybe help them with anything. If they want to continue coaching, whatever they're, you know, all these guys are trying to do something to improve their lives or, or do things to just, you know, do things the right way, so. And then when you make it at the highest level, you're with the Seahawks, and mm -hmm. you know, for whatever reason, things aren't going, you know, the right fit for you. But then you go over to the Colts, talk about, you know, Keeping that confidence about yourself and, and knowing that, you know, hey, this is all going to work out now. A few years under your belt here with the Colts and the contract, all that stuff. I mean, uh, it, it seems like that offensive line is kind of a fierce offensive line with the Colts. You fit right in with that group. Yeah, I'm saying it just like anything. It could be a normal job. You might not like your, you know, eight to five job, nine to five job, but just find the right thing. For me, it was just keep putting my head down and keep grinding, do the little things, trust. Just trust everything, trust the process, find the place that would fit for me. Um, even Seattle, you know, things were good and things were bad. I wouldn't say it was all bad or anything like that. It was just things didn't fit and aligned the right way at the, at the right time. But, you know, there's other opportunities that presented itself and just try to take advantage of it, do the same thing, even have a little bit of fire behind me to know that maybe that maybe there was something that wasn't going the right way and, and just keep working through them. And, find those little things that I could fix and improve and get to the place where I'm at right now. Keeping your body healthy and, mm -hmm. and doing all the things you're supposed to do. Talk about, you know, size-wise, you feel at this point you got it down to a great routine where you don't vary a whole lot throughout, you know, the, yeah. the season, off-season? Yeah, I've, I've kind of figured that out getting closer to my junior, senior year in uh, college. Just how, you, how my body would feel if I were to be certain thing, you know, certain uh, weights and all that stuff. So um, I don't know. And you get into the routine of working out all the time, eating the right way. You know, stay on a routine. If I feel like once you're in a routine of some sort, um, you know, as long as you're staying with it, I don't know, nine out of ten times, you, there's always those cheat meals. You ever, you can see the Rock Dwayne Johnson on on Instagram posting his cheat day meal or something like that. It's, you know, he's having stacks of pancakes and stuff. But even the even the program that we have, we're, we're talking about eating a lot more carbohydrates instead of, you know, fats and all different kind of things that may contribute to um, just gaining weight or it, actually they say carbohydrates store more uh, water into your system. Um, so it kind of actually keeps you hydrated and gets, which is as long as you're burning those things off, they always talk about, you know, sugars and carbs are bad for you. But in the sport and game that we play, all these calories that we burn, it's actually good because it helps us um, just keep going, so. You, you talked a little bit about the coaches here in Northeastern Pennsylvania, familiar faces, mm -hmm. but you got a fan base that follows you and you got more <laughs> Colt fans now because of you playing there. Uh, you feel that love uh, when you do yeah. come back home or even knowing it in Indianapolis, <laughs> people rooting for you? Yeah, even, the, you know, around here, you got all your Eagles, Pittsburgh, you know, the Giants, Jets, all those guys. But even when you just meet somebody, they, they definitely want to be your fan. Um, they root you on, even if it's just for that five minutes that they're your fan, you know, they're going to go back to their teams, but for them just to show support because you are within the area where you could be, you know, help, helpful to somebody or inspiration, um, you know, those are, that's really what it's all about and for the area, um, just being, making them proud, do what you can to help and, and give back when you can too. Is there something you live by that maybe the message is for young student athletes, you know, whether it's in Northeast or Pennsylvania mm -hmm. or wherever, what would be your message, you know, things that, again, you talked about most of this stuff, but things you learned or things that you kind of just stayed focused on to, to compete and basically keep chasing your dream? Yeah, um, I really think it comes down to just trusting the people around you. 
maximizing every opportunity that you have. Use every resource to your advantage. Um, you know, you might not have the, the help back home, but when you get into a place like this, when you have all these, you know, guys or girls, whatever sport you're in, you know, you have somebody that's going to be by your side to help you maybe get through your day or be a support to you emotionally. Maybe they can help you get resources. So I think just being in a part of a group where you can actually be around other people, which can help you with your future, anything, you know, you, you may not be able to rely on somebody, you know, that's close to you, but you might be able to rely on somebody that's maybe a coach or one of your close players. So, you know, doing the things the right way, staying out of trouble, like that's every time I go back, I, I feel like most of the time I don't even talk about football or anything. It's just staying out of trouble, doing the right things, putting yourself in position to su succeed. And, you know, there might be somebody that's not, that you don't think is watching, but they might be watching and they just give you the opportunity uh, or know somebody that's like, hey, I like this guy or, you know, girl or whatever it is that maybe they want to give you an opportunity. So, it, you know, it's always doing the right things. We're going to see a lot of eyes upon us today, <laughs> looking up to you and seeing all the great things that you have done. And more coming your way, Mark. Great to catch up with you. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Appreciate it.